Hello there and welcome to the June 2019 paper on paper 2 and here we're looking at question 10. So figure 7 shows a sketch of triangle OAB. The point C is such that O to C equals 2 lots of O to A. Let's add that onto the diagram first. So O to C equals double O to A. So if we double O to A we get to C. So C must therefore be a point roughly up here. And that distance A here is going to be the same as this distance A here. The point M is the midpoint of AB, so this point M here is half this distance from here and half this distance from here. Um, the straight line C, straight line through C and M cuts OB, this is the line OB, so this line cuts this line at N. Given that O to A is A and O to B is B, find C to M in terms of A and B. So I need to get from C to M. So I'll probably go along backwards from C to A and then from A to B. So for A from halfway from A to B to get from A to M. But I don't know how to get from A to B first. So I think that's our first working point that it's going to be A to B that we need to work out first, which is going to be minus an A and then plus a B. So we go backwards along the A and upwards along the B. Then we can go from A to M by just doing half of both of these two things here. So it's going to be minus a half of A and plus a half of B. The next thing we need to do is get from C to M. We now know how to get from A to M, so it's just backwards along an A and then add on the rest of this vector here. So backwards along an A and then add on the rest of A to M, which we've just worked out. So it's minus a half A minus plus a half a B. And then if we combine this, it's going to be minus 3 over 2A um, plus half a B. Okay, so there we are, that's the answer for A. Let's now move on to B. Show that O to N, so this is from O to N, is equal to this expression here where lambda is a constant. Okay, well I'll probably need to use the C to M um, to get from C to N, but if I go two A's up here to get from O to C, then I'll need to go on some extension of the line from C to M. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to call lambda the scale factor extension lambda is the scale factor extension of c to m to c to n okay so to get from o to n it's therefore going to be go up two a's and then plus c to m extended by a value lambda. So it's going to be plus lambda lots of minus 3 over 2a plus half a b. And now let's expand these brackets and group the a's together. If I'm grouping the a's together, I've got two a's here, and I've got minus 3 over 2a's here. Uh, so that would be close the brackets and put a lambda in there. In fact, let's write that out again. It's a bit small. 2 minus 3 over 2 lambda. Lots of A. So it's uh, the A that's here and the A that's here. And then it's plus lambda, half a lambda B. And there we are. That's exactly what we're looking to show there. And then part C is hence prove that O to N equals... Um, n to b in the ratio 2 to 1. Okay, well, that's the difficult way of getting from o to n. Now, the easy way of getting from o to n is to introduce a new fraction, mu, which is just a fraction of the value to get from um, o to n. In fact, there probably is an easier way of doing this. I've just thought of it. Um, to get from o to n, it's just some fraction of the b... Um, it's just some fraction of the b... Uh, vector, which actually means you shouldn't have to do any a's in this question at all. So from o to n um, should have 
should have an A component of zero. Should have an A component of zero because N is on OB. It should just be some fraction of the va of the vector B. So therefore, two minus three over two lambda should just equal zero. So therefore, uh, two equals three over two lambda. So therefore, lambda is four thirds. Okay, so lambda is four thirds. Um, so how does that help us now? So lambda is four thirds. So now if we put four thirds into the B part of the vector, so now from O to N, this vector here is going to be half of four thirds. So that's going to be two thirds of the vector B um, when lambda is uh, four thirds. So therefore, this is two thirds of the line. This is one third of the line. So O to N equals two thirds B. So then N to B is going to be one third of a B. So therefore, O to N to N to B is in the ratio two to one. As in, it's two thirds B for the first part and one third B for the second part. So therefore, it's in the ratio two to one. Lovely, there we are. So that was a tricky little question, that one. A very difficult question on vectors there. Only worth six marks. I think it should be a little bit worth a little bit more than that. But hey-ho, that's what it's worth. Okay, that's the answer for question 10. Let's now move on to question 11.